jam game. We're dancing. We hanging out in my kitchen. So, I told you guys we would get back together at dinner time and do my quick dinner. Oh God, I gotta dance. I love it. I wasn't gonna, but I can't help myself. Oh my goodness, True Local, it's so nice to see you. We are making your sausages. So let me turn this down just a little so I don't have to shout over. Now, first thing before we start actually making the sausages is I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the sausages I normally buy. So when I go to my grocery store, this is the best option that is available to me. And I say the best option because this is the best that I can purchase locally at my grocery store. Now, what I like about these sausages is they taste like awesome and my family eats them and they like them. What I don't like about these sausages is I have to make a good, better, best decision when I'm eating them. Each of these sausages contains two grams of carbs and one gram of sugar. Now, you might say one gram of sugar makes really not that much sugar. But when I look at it, it says sugar on the ingredients. Now, again, good, better, best. This is the only option I have to purchase locally. This is it. It's this or don't have sausage or learn how to make your own sausage, Dory. Sausage making. We might have to learn that. Probably not. I, I don't want to learn how to make sausage. I, I don't want to deal with the intestines and the skins and stuff. I won't lie. So I was super excited when I did my unboxing of my true local meats and this is the sausage that came with that. Now this sausage has zero grams of carbs and zero grams of sugars. I want to read you the ingredients just so you get an idea of the difference. So this one contains free range pork, water, salt, spice, dehydrated red bell peppers, flakes, dehydrated garlic and onion powder. That's it. Now, the babies that I normally buy, because again, best option, don't judge me. You're not allowed to judge me. We're friends. These ones contain pork, water, sea salt, seasonings, sugar, garlic, toasted wheat crumbs, and then in a hog natural casing. So that's where the carbs come from. If you're like, why do they have two grams of carbs? It's because they have wheat crumbs in them. Do they need wheat crumbs in them? Probably not, but this is what's available. So today, I'm going to cook the spicy ones for the rest of my family, and we are going to do the no sugar, no carb ones for me. And I'm going to show you guys the way that I do sausages. Now, this may or may not be for you, work for your family. For me, this is the easiest, quickest way, and it's my favorite dish. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the sausages. Now, I let these sit on my counter just to defrost. You can thaw them in the microwave too if you need to. We're going to pop them into there. I need to have like a garbage can right by where I work too. I'll be right back. I'm going to bring the garbage can with me. Oh my goodness, I'm so smart. Smarty, smarty had a party. <laughs> so once I get them into the dish, the next thing I do is I want to score all of the sausages so that it renders the fat nicely. And I will score them, flip them, and score them on the other side. I'm trying not to touch them with my fingers so that I don't have to run away to wash my hands. We're smooth. We can do this. We can do it like hands-free. I could put on gloves too, but again, Dory, lazy. So that's what they look like in the pan. They're fully scored. We're going to do the same thing with our spicy ones. My guy likes the spicy sausages. And again, when I don't eat them all that often, and generally I will eat a half to one sausage for a serving. So I think it makes a difference as well, your serving size. If I was someone who ate three sausages, two grams of carbs and a gram of sugar per sausage might not work for me. It just might not. You know, three sausages would end up being six grams of carbs, three grams of sugar. That may or may not work. Again, for me, I make this option once in a while because I generally eat a half of a sausage as a serving. So I am getting one gram of carb and a half of a gram of sugar, except for today. Today, I'm not gonna have to sugar or carbs. 
I'm stinking excited. I don't know if you guys can tell by the look on my face, but I'm excited. <laughs> so, step one. That's it. Step one. We put them in the pan. We score them. This does not get easier. Then, we're going to take about a third of a cup of cherry tomatoes. These came out of my garden. So, we're going to take some cherry tomatoes. And then, we're going to take some red and some yellow pepper. And I usually just rough chunk put it in there. And we're going to take some red and let's get some yellow in there. I like the color variation. I prefer yellow, red, and orange peppers over green, but you can use green peppers in this as well. I just find for the color and the look of it, it's much prettier with the yellow, the red, and the orange. Then we're going to blend it up. I use a Ninja food processor. I love this one. It came in a three-piece set. I've been using it for about 10 years. I won't lie. I do all the things with it that you're not supposed to. I break up ice. I do bulletproof coffee. All the things they say you're not allowed to do. So. That's it. That's our recipe. And now we are done. <laughs> we, we pour our blended mix over top of our sausages and our sausages go into the oven or into the microwave. So if you're going to do these in the oven, I recommend baking them at about 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes. If you're going to do them in the microwave, cover them with a plastic wrap and they're only going to take about 10 minutes each in the microwave. But that's it. So I will take some pictures of for you guys when they're all cooked. I'm going to pop them in my oven. We still have two hours before dinner time at my house. But my favorite is if I'm in a pinch, if I'm in a pinch and I didn't take anything out, I can have this ready for my family in 10 minutes as a microwave meal. I know a lot of you don't use microwaves because of the health issues that it causes with food and I don't judge, you don't judge neither. Some days I like a meal in 10 minutes and some days I have an hour to bake it in the oven. So good, better, best as always. And I will get some pictures for you guys later. But I am so, I'm so excited. It's sugar-free. It's carb-free. It's going to have a lovely sauce. And then for side dish, I'm just making some broccoli. We're going to have broccoli with bacon fat and we're having salad. And that's dinner at Dory's tonight. So stay tuned for the pictures. It'll be a little later. I eat in about two hours and then I'll post pictures for you guys. Let's get our tunes. This has been such a fun day. We've had such a fun day together. I'm just saying. It almost feels like a Friday. It's so fun. And Friday's coming too. We're going to be traveling Friday. Stay tuned for traveling lives. You guys like coming to the airport, right? Talking to strangers. I'll see you later. Have an amazing Wednesday. And remember, now we have better options available. I'm so excited. Have a great night, guys. Pulling away, pulling away from ya. This is my favorite part. See you guys. We're going to have such a yummy dinner.